It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. This is Expresso and you're on SABC3. Right now, though, on your Wednesday morning, it is time for hashtag my money story with your feel good breakfast show, where we sit down with a celebrity and learn all about their relationship with money and the lessons that they've learned. Now, today, we pick the brain of our musical guest singer, songwriter, absolutely awesome guy, Connell Cruz, this morning. And we're also joined by Grand Fonsel, Grant Lacker. Connell, brilliant Thanks. to have you, brother, man. Yeah, it's great to be here. That's Talking it. About Money, let's do it. Yeah, let's yeah. Let's do it, let's do it, How man. good was that music? D listen, man, hey? listen, this man is... Oh, my gosh. The, the talent that this man has, it makes all of us look just stupid. I mean, good sorry. looks, good music. I mean, what else can you let's do? Get back did, did you have enough? Do you have enough of the compliments? <laughs> <Let's get back laughs> listen, yeah, we're here to talk money. Um, Connell, all of us have a, a story when it comes to money, you know, maybe your first memory. Uh, what, is, what is your first, very first memory of money? Uh, first thing I can remember is being uh, uh, maybe around six or seven, probably, probably a little bit younger. I, I went with my mom to do a grocery shop or some sort of shop. We were at game. And, uh, <laughs> and while we were in game, I didn't really understand the concept, right? Um, maybe I was a late bloomer. But also, I, I, I didn't have any costs or things yeah. to pay for at six <laughs> years old. So uh, what I did is I saw um, a chocolate bar that I really wanted. It was like... A, a tempo or a lunch bar or something, <laughs> and uh, and I just swiped it. You know? and, you just um, took it. Yeah, I just As I you just went took out of your it. Mom's it. Yeah, basically, yeah, I thought really. I was in the larder, and I just you know took it and I <laughs> put it in my pocket. I didn't even do it like sneakily, as if yeah. I was like trying to hide yeah, something. Yeah, I did yeah, it yeah. as if yeah, I'll just take this. <laughs> and um, and then you know got to the front of the of the queue, um, and my mom saw this lunch bar sticking in my pocket, and she's like, "Wait, you you got to put it down." I, I'm I'm crying my eyes out in this game <laughs> you know she's gonna take it away and then you know my mom had 10 rand that she gave me and then the lady gave me uh, uh five rand back or something oh, and i was like bawling like... my eyes out because i lost not only the chocolates but also the 10 rand <laughs> I, you know, I, couldn't understand, I couldn't understand the trade value of these things but there you go that's when you start understanding oh this is how it works yeah. you know it's a, it's a whole back and forth thing here absolutely listen so so obviously you've you've grown up you're very successful um traveling the world i mean you you deal with your money as well yourself but uh, taking a look at your life so far I mean, what are some of the toughest financial lessons that you've learned that you can share yeah i uh I think the value of investing and saving as early as you can, um, that, was a, that was a good lesson for me. I started um, just after high school, putting money away, um, initially in saving accounts, and then uh, building up wealth to uh, the extent of um, investing it in either, in my case, property or in some um, mutual funds, and uh, later on, uh, more recently, in, in equities and stocks. I think. Um, Building wealth rather than just keeping wealth is is a lesson mm. that a lot of young people, and I consider myself a young person. Um, it's it's important for us to to learn as soon as we can, wow. because uh, because wealth could stagnate if you consider tax and and inflation um, if you don't put in the the effort to mm. invest it and grow it wisely. So that, that's what I yeah. do. That's you, like, you'd probably be able so to who's tell he, us who's more. Who's the expert again? Like, oh, oh, yeah, I, I don't know. know what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's brilliant. I mean, yeah. if, you, if you get to the point where in life where you start as early as possible, yeah. you cannot go wrong. I mean, that's the whole philosophy of compound interest. The faster you get going, mm. the faster the money starts working for yeah. you at the end of the day. So that's brilliant. Well done. Yeah. I like that's that. That's great man. advice to everyone out there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Very, Thanks very, for taking my job. Is there anything that you're still kind of wondering about? Is still that you that you would have questions about when it comes to money? Actually, I have, I have a, a cool question uh, that I was thinking about right now on the couch. Yeah. This is something I, I learned about recently in the States, and I wanted to know if there was a difference here in South Africa. The difference between a financial advisor and a fiduciary. Okay. Is there wow. such? A, is there like a, yeah, a, yeah. a blend or? Because I, I know in, the reason I ask this is because I, uh, one of my uh, brokers in the states or uh, one of the banks that I use in the states, yeah. was um, sitting around and, and we were talking about investment options, and uh, I saw financial advisor under her name on the desk, and um, and I saw the guy in the next cubicle was a fiduciary. Yeah. And I asked what the difference was, and I was amazed at the difference, okay. and I wondered why I was sitting here with a financial advisor and not sitting here with a fiduciary. <laughs> let's, let's unpack that a little bit right. uh, in the next segment. I'm looking forward to that, Grant, so you can start cool. running that over a little bit in just a bit. But it's my hashtag, my money story on your <laughs> 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 show. With our man, Colonel Cruz. 
Right, so it's back here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show with our well, Wednesday hashtag My Money Story. We hang out with our certified financial planner, Grant Fonsell, and also our very special guest, Connell Cruz, this morning, learning about his relationship with money. Gentlemen, lekker. Um, so, so in our previous uh, segment, uh, Connell, you threw, away, <laughs> threw around some couple of Sega kind of words that I that I've never heard in my life before, to be <laughs> honest, because you know I'm no financial expert, um, fiduciary. Yeah. Um, services. Yeah. yeah, so so if you just want to reiterate that question that you've asked yeah. in terms of what you still want to learn with regards to money. What I'd like to, uh, and it's not every day that I sit on the same couch as someone who's an expert in this field, so I'd like to milk it for the opportunity of understanding the difference um, for, a, for a normal investor like myself, yeah. um, a young person with some capital, the difference between a fiduciary and a financial planner. Hmm. Brilliant. That's such a good question. Great. And, uh, <laughs> I worked really and hard on it. And Aaron, you're not alone. Not many people have heard of fiduciary services. It's not something you deal with on a daily basis. So basically, if we, if we break it down, uh, a financial planner is going to help you in your everyday sort of financial needs mm. and help you set up an investment portfolio. Where fiduciary services come into place is when your net wealth gets to a certain point that you have to start setting up trusts. And they will then get into a place where they can help you set up the trust structure in a very good way uh, that is very tax efficient uh, and to make sure it's tax efficient because trusts today aren't always as tax efficient as you expect unless your net wealth is over a certain amount. And then what they can also do is they become a trustee with inside that trust to make sure that money that you are investing in the trust is managed in a very good way. But not only that, once you, if you have to pass away, the trust is a living sort of uh, being, and then they're still in a place to manage the money that's within the trust in a way that you would like it to have been managed if you were alive. Right. So that's where fiduciary services come into place. They also help you set up your will, um, which is really important, especially if you've got property all over the world. You're going to need a will in all those different jurisdictions. You know? right. Otherwise, what happens is... If, it's, if you only got a will in South Africa, you now need to get solicitors in, in the US and all the different places, and it costs a lot more money right. in the long run to do that. So the fiduciary service is going to take all of those tax implications into consideration and make sure that your investments and your whole estate is set up in the most beneficial way for yourself. Great. Yeah, I hope that helps. Yeah, it does. It's so very it's, it's, like a, it's like a second half mentality, right? So you're building up yeah. wealth initially with your financial planner and you, and you strategize mm -hmm. and you negotiate. And then eventually when you've accumulated enough and you want to avoid letting go into tax so much, you accumulate with the finan uh, fiduciary? Is that yeah, what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, so what will happen is the financial planner and the fiduciary service company will work hand in hand. Right, so so the financial planners should still be managing your, your investments. Fiduciary services will be in a more professional po position to make sure that those investments that have been recommended are the right ones. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Okay, great. Cool. Awesome. I have Jeez, a follow what up. What advice this morning, Do eh? you want to like... be my fiduciary? Or... Um... <laughs> I've recently come into uh, some gold. And, uh... Oh, right. <laughs> well, why don't we just start something on the side? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we could sell this for. On Love the streets it, of Cape Town. Yeah, there's always so, a black listen, market. You, you, been into, you want to hold it? You're yeah, more than welcome to. to. You're more than welcome to hold us after, man. Yeah, you're it's enjoying all, that stuff. This is how eh? investments work. Here, there we go after this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you there very we go. much. Money lessons one on one. Connell, thank you so much for joining us, Grant. Love it, man. Thank you very much for the advice, of course. And uh, as we do it on Wednesday, hashtag My Money Story, where we take a look at uh, a local celebrity and how their relationship with money works.